so we're going to be making your homemade barbecue sauce that's going to pair well with your chicken nuggets that you guys are going to be making. So I've taken a, a small saucepan here and I've turned on the heat just to get it warmed up and take away any water that was in the pan. And I'm going to go ahead and pour in my oil. Once you have your oil in, you want to take your diced onion and your minced garlic. As you can see, I've done the onion over here and then this is the garlic on this side. And you're going to pour it into the oil. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. It's a little bit high. I don't want it to really sizzle like that as much. And you're just going to kind of let this go a little bit until it's a little bit tender. Once it's tender, we'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Alright, so I've had this simmering for a couple of minutes now, maybe two or three minutes, just enough to make sure that my onions and my garlic have gotten a little tender. And then I'm going to go ahead and red add the rest of my ingredients. And there's a lot of ingredients here, so I've already pre-measured them out. And you're just going to simply add them to your mixture. So we have the mustard powder, brown sugar, your ketchup, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, this is honey, And then the last ingredient that you're going to add is your beef stock. It doesn't matter the order that you're adding these in, as long as they all make it in, you'll be good to go. You're going to give it a nice stir. And as you can see here, it's going to be very, very liquidy. This isn't the type of barbecue sauce that you're going to want to eat with your chicken nuggets. So what we're going to do is once it's mixed thoroughly, let it simmer for about 30 minutes. And you can see the difference in the texture when we come back between what it is now and how soupy it is to what it's going to be like once everything is good and solidified a little bit after simmering for 30 minutes. As you can see, the little bubbles here mean that it's simmering and I'm just going to leave it like this for about 30 minutes and then I'm going to test it and show you guys the viscosity of it then. Alright, it is the second day of your chicken nugget lab and as you can see I've taken two chicken nuggets and put it on a small plate here and I've taken out your chilled barbecue sauce that you guys made yesterday. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of this and put a little bit of dollop on my plate. You guys are going to be using this as a presentation, so you need to make sure that what you're doing is going to look good. For now, I'm just showing you what it's going to look like as the barbecue sauce so that you guys can see the thickness and the viscosity of this. And this is going to pair great with your chicken nuggets that's going to go with them.